Hello and welcome to the video. So today I wanted to be talking about the PlayStation VR 2, the second headset that Sony have released. Now I love this thing, I really do. It is one of my favourite headsets that I've ever used, specifically because of these bad boys, the controllers, the haptics uh, inside the controllers themselves, the feel of them, the, the, uh, the comfort that they have, uh, the adaptive triggers, uh, and there's even haptics inside this headset and it has the eye tracking capabilities yes i know it's let down a little bit by the cable that has to be tethered to the playstation itself but that didn't really bother me too much um, in terms of comfort the cable's long enough uh, the headset feels comfortable on the head uh, it feels fairly cheap the actual plastic um, feels cheaply made but it, it means it's light and it sits on your head so it was a, it was a sacrifice that, that we made but overall the headset quality is absolutely fantastic uh, when it comes to actually playing games that said the PlayStation VR 2 has came heavily under fire um, over the last few months purely on the fact that there hasn't really been much in terms of advertisement from Sony or anything to really push the headset forward and there's been absolutely no word on any first party titles and they seem to be relying on third party developments developers and indie studios to sort of to carry the weight to carry the load and, and sort of boost sales for the playstation vr 2 don't get me wrong there's more than enough titles i think there's close to 200 maybe a bit more titles for the playstation vr 2 uh, a lot of them are ports that were available on quest uh, and other platforms prior to coming onto the playstation store uh, some of them did well some of them did not so well but there has also been some exclusives, exclusives as well. Resident Evil 4 Remake VR, perhaps one of the greatest titles I've ever played, uh, is available only on PlayStation VR 2, and that is fantastic. It's one of the main reasons I won't get rid of my PlayStation VR 2, certainly not anytime soon anyway. And you've got Gran Turismo, which is absolutely phenomenal in VR. You've got Resident Evil Village that you can play in VR as well. Resident Evil seems to be holding up the bar, I think, certainly for horror games as well on the PlayStation VR 2. Uh, and I'd like to see more games a VR mode so that we can play them in PlayStation VR 2 because I, I, I don't know how difficult that is I'm not a developer but Capcom seem to have managed it really well and I'd like to see other games follow suit and that's what I've really been hoping for um, on the PlayStation VR 1 the original we did get Skyrim uh, albeit it was vanilla Skyrim and you didn't have any of the mods or the, it wasn't this anniversary edition or anything like that so it was just vanilla Skyrim and obviously it used the move controllers for the PlayStation VR so it was the experience was a bit a little bit uh, lacking so I, I didn't play it to completion on the PlayStation VR one but I'm, I'm really hoping and I always have been to get an upgraded version on the PlayStation VR 2 where we can use the actual thumbsticks and you know we can have some sort of a better experience using the new controllers and the new um, you know it doesn't necessarily have to use eye tracking or anything but certainly an upgraded version for the PlayStation VR 2. And likewise with Fallout, I'd like to see Fallout VR on PlayStation VR 2 as well. But it appears that we're not getting any of that, or certainly there's no news of it. And Sony haven't released any sort of word about any first party titles that we would expect to see. Um, originally going in, I'll be honest, my expectations were very high for the PlayStation VR 2. Um, it was perhaps the most excited I've been to get a headset. I've used a fair few different headsets um, and this is the most excited I've ever been to get one, uh, was the PlayStation VR 2. Games like Pavlov, which you can get on other platforms, I think is absolutely fantastic on the PlayStation VR 2. I would always say it's the best place to play it. Uh, the adaptive triggers, um, the headset, um, haptics, everything just adds an extra layer to it, and it's just fantastic. Best place to play Pavlov, in my opinion, is PlayStation VR 2. But my expectations were high, and I was expecting, you know, Games like Hogwarts Legacy, for example, I would expect, you know, add a VR mode to it, like they did with Resident Evil, um, you know, Fallout, Skyrim, and then eventually maybe into something like Bioshock, you know, give us some some proper proper titles with VR modes that we can now step into the game. And that was kind of what I was hoping for. And instead, what we've got is a headset that is not really being pushed. It's, it's an accessory that currently is more costly than the PlayStation 5 itself, depending on where you go which is bizarre for a start, um, probably hurting its sales. You can't buy the controllers on their own, so if something happens, you've got to send them off and get the whole thing um, investigated and looked at by support. And just the titles aren't there. There's no marketing. Um, there's no demo units that I've seen anywhere floating around. I remember when the PlayStation VR was first released, even going into my local cinema uh, or game shop, there would be a, a sort of a stall with a PlayStation VR that you could go and use. And it was, that's 
there was all of that was lacking um, and it was a red flag one that I ignored um, because I did really want to try the PlayStation VR 2 and I still don't regret it I still think it's one of my favorite headsets it's allowed me to step inside Resident Evil in the best way possible yes the quest had the Resident Evil 4 uh, VR version which is phenomenal and up until the remake came out on the PlayStation VR 2 it was the best place best way to play Resident Evil 4 fantastic but I got to step inside an ultra-realistic Resident Evil through the PlayStation VR 2, and I was hoping to get that in other games. My expectations now, they were here when I bought the, the headset, and they're more down here now, seeing that there's just a lack. Uh, we had the state of play. The stream mentioned 14 titles, including PlayStation VR 2 titles. There was two titles shown for PlayStation VR 2, which we already knew about. Yes, I hadn't seen too much of Behemoth, um, and we hadn't seen anything of Alien. So it was nice to see the gameplay. And actually I'm really excited for both. And I can't wait to play them. But there was nothing new there. We were expecting some new announcements. Now interestingly enough. Astrobot got a full segment of gameplay in there. Which looked absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to play it. However Astrobot was originally a PlayStation VR title. It, you know, That's where he was born. That's, that's his... That I associate Astrobot with PlayStation VR. And for them to release it and not mention anything about PlayStation VR 2 compatibility, kind of, it, it feels like a slap in the face of, you know, VR users. Hopefully something comes in the future. Uh, they add a VR mode, hopefully they give us some extra news. But I can't see it happening at this point. And, and that being one of Sony's newer IPs, platformers that started on the PlayStation VR, it, it kind of, you know, it really shows where Sony are putting putting in their efforts or lack of, um, which appears that they don't really want to invest too much in PlayStation VR right now. And Sony do have a habit of this with other accessories. We saw the PSP and the PSV there just you know so slowly die. I imagine the same is going to happen with the PlayStation Portal. Um, unfortunately, they just they drop these accessories and then with what appears to be no roadmap and no plan of what they're going to do with them after release. But that's my rant. Is that I want. PlayStation VR 2 to succeed, but unfortunately right now, um, I don't think I can continue recommending the headset unless someone wants to go and use it for PC, which that's not really my area, so I can't, can't get too much into it. But up until now I was always, I was always, you know, 50-50 with Quest 3 or PlayStation VR 2 depending on what your requirements were, what your needs were, what you wanted to play. Now it's more, well, PlayStation VR 2 is down here because unless there's a very specific game you want to buy that for, i.e. Resident Evil 4 Remake, it's up to you whether you think it's worth it for that experience, or Gran Turismo, then I would I would recommend the Quest more heavily. And that's sad to see because it was 50-50. In my comments previously on other videos, you'll have seen people ask for recommendations, which headset to buy, and I would always err on the side of caution. I'd say, oh, well, it depends what you want. Good and bad for both. Now it's more, actually, I, I can't recommend the PlayStation VR 2 until something drastic happens. Now we may hear something a little later in the year that will completely change my opinion. I am still a fan of the headset. I do still enjoy playing it and I will continue to play it and endorse some games and, and showcase a lot of games. But it, the library is, is looking rather thin. Now we do have games that will likely drop uh, but there's nothing major being announced by Sony which is that's what I'm upset about. I was really excited. I had to stay up late last night to watch the state of play and got to see two VR titles uh, and the rest of the state of play to be honest was not really anything exciting anyway we got some Dynasty Warriors we got Silent Hill 2 Remake which I was originally excited about Silent Hill 2 but looking at some of the um, artistic decisions that they've been making I've seen in screenshots and some gameplay it looks like they may be changing too much and uh, does sometimes works sometimes doesn't uh, um, you know compared to the Resident Evil 2 Remake they did that perfectly um, so, you know, if it can compare with that, then it'd be great. Silent Hill and Resident Evil are two of my favourite franchises from growing up. Hope to do good with it, but um, maybe some changes need to be made before it actually gets released. So, yeah, the state of play was a bit lacklustre. Astrobot looked great. Behemoth and um, Alien looked good. The footage they used for Alien, yeah, could have been a bit better, but is what it is. I think the game will probably be great. Um, who doesn't want to play an alien game in VR? But that's where I'm at with PlayStation VR 2. I, I don't think it's dead yet, but it's, it's getting close to being abandoned. Everyone I've seen on X or Twitter 
um, and YouTube, it, you know, they're all saying the same thing. You know, we're really upset about Astrobot. We we just need Sony to wake up and actually do something about the headset. Actually promote it. Give us some first party games. Give us an announcement. Give us a roadmap. What games are going to be coming when? You know, games will still drop in the store, but I want to see some first party announcements from to- from Sony. It doesn't appear to be happening, so that's where I'm at. I'm woke up disappointed. Um, it's a, it's a real shame because it's a, the headset's got so much potential, and seeing people all say it's going to be a PC headset now, you know, it's it's quite upsetting because that's not that's not why I bought it. I bought it to quickly play games on my PlayStation um, and enter them through virtual reality, which doesn't look like that dream is going to come true yet. But uh, we'll get there. I don't want to have to say I'm going to wait for PlayStation VR three because. Depending on how this one goes, I may or may not invest in that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep the PlayStation VR 2. I'm going to continue doing content on it, continue playing games to enjoy it. I just want to see more. Um, and I, I, to be fair, I am going to be buying Alien and I am going to be buying Behemoth, um, which look fantastic games. But we'll we'll see where that goes. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. How did you find the state of play? How do you think PlayStation VR 2 is doing? Do you have one? Where are you going to buy one and have, have held off? Uh, have you bought one and you've sold it? Um, are you going to buy one for PC? Let me know. But uh, that's where I'm at. Really disappointed in the state of play. See what comes out later in the year. Um, but more content to come. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Bye bye.